GBP USD update. I know we have discussed about GBP USD, and you guys you already know we are uh, we are hoping this pair will buy. But I just want to do an update on GBP USD. So this is lesson fourteen. If you have not been watching this lesson, you are missing out. I started from lesson one, and I can't imagine just one week we in lesson fourteen, meaning that I'm giving you more than three videos every day with a lot of information. So the first thing that you need to do if you're watching this video and you have not subscribed to this channel, subscribe. My goal is to reach a hundred thousand subscribers before the end of this year. Help me get to 100K and I know with God, everything is possible. So comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on GBPUSD. Do you think it's a buy? Do you think it's a sell? And uh, if you say it's a buy, why? Comment down below. Don't wait until the video is over be because once you hear my analysis, you might be biased or you might be influenced. So I want you to comment down below right now and tell me your thoughts on GBPSD. You can say GBPSD is a buy because of this and this. GBPSD, I think, is a sell because of this and this. GBPSD, I don't know direction. I'm avoiding it because of this and this. When I read your comments, it will help us to be able to see other people's thoughts. So have you commented? So I'm doing an update on GBPSD, and already you know my thoughts from higher time frame. On the monthly time frame, there's a double bottom that is all the way from 1985. And that double bottom has never reached half. That's a double bottom that always give me confidence that long term of GBPSD is a long term buy. So leave alone the double bottom on the monthly. I have found a pattern on the daily. And the pattern, guys, I don't know why this month, every pattern that I'm analyzing is a double bottom. So I have found this double bottom on the monthly, on the daily time frame. So I have this double bottom, so we will do it. And this is for those people who have not seen my analysis on GBPUSD. So if you want full, uh, like a top-down analysis on GBPUSD, go and watch the video that I have said, GBPUSD will hit 1.25. 1, 1 That's the video that has the top-down analysis on GBPUSD. This video is for update. What are you supposed to do? So we have, um, we have that double bottom on the daily. That is our hope. This is what we are using to make the decision. So I hope already you have commented. We already know what your thoughts are on GBPSD. So this is a possible double bottom because half has not yet been broken. So we have a possible double bottom. Then we have the neckline. We have this neckline. So we have the neckline there. And then we have our half. You see? So we have double bottom, her neckline, and then we have our half. So the first thing that we need to understand is that this double bottom, is it on the weekly? Because when it if it is on the weekly, we can't waste our time holding this double bottom. So the first thing after you have realized your pattern is on one time frame, the second thing that you need to do and always be doing this kindly, if you find your double bottom on four hour, the next question you should ask yourself is the same double bottom visible on the daily. Now, because this double bottom is on the daily, we are asking ourselves, is it on the weekly? Because if it's available on the weekly, guess what? Which time frame will confirm for entry? It's not daily, it's weekly. So we go to the weekly time frame, and you can see clearly the double bottom is not on the weekly. It is not on the weekly. And what I told you guys, you remember when I was telling you, you can see it's not on the weekly. So if you don't understand what I mean, I just mean that on the weekly, at this area, we do not have a support. You see, when you have a support, a double bottom has to have price getting rejected at a support two times. That's why it's called a double. So in the weekly time frame, where we have a support on the daily, there is no support, there is no red candle. So we can't have a double bottom with one attempt like this. Remember when I was doing a fake out strategy, how do you know if a resistance or support is broken, what you're supposed to do? Remember I was telling you, because this support is broken, would you continue selling or would you 
think that these are fake out. And I told you, go lower to the other time frame, like lower time frame, and check if a double bottom has been activated. And that's what is happening. So we have a break of structure, but it has activated the double bottom on lower time frame. So if you have listened to that video on fake out, how to understand fake out, fake or false breakout. If you understand that video, you already know how important this is. So already double bottom is not on weekly, meaning whatever daily says, that is the everything we need from the daily. So I remember doing this video, I think last week, on it was it on Tuesday or Wednesday, and I told people, if this candle engulfs the red, you are here. If the market engulfs the red here, we do what? We buy. So this trade, we have been buying and we, our take profit was just this resistance. So we made 138 pips. So I made sure that people come out because we can't be holding a trade, not knowing if it will break this resistance or not. And I told people, first of all, come out of this trade until one point, even if you go to the weekly analysis, that's what I've said. We are not trading GBPUSD until they break the zone of 1.227. 2.270. And guys, guess what? This market is about to break this area. We are about to break. This, can, this chart, this video as you're watching, it is remaining how many hours? We have how many hours remaining? Four hours for this day to call this candle to close. So in the next four hours, we will know the fate of GBPUSD. So the fate of GBPUSD can go there. If they be able to break, they will go to our half. So we have to take profit. We have the first take profit at that area. Why? Because it can create a possible double top. So we don't want to be ignorant. The market can come there and create a possible double top. So our first take profit will be if you enter this trade, our first take profit will be at 1.2396, 1.2396. Or even you can put 1.29, 1.2390, 2390. That's where, guys, I want you to put your take profit. So how many pips are those? If this candle closes like that, we are entering this trade how many pips? 110 pips. If this candle closes like that, tomorrow this trade we are on a buy, 110 pips. And then we will wait for this market to break this zone and we can now ride it to the half. Because if this market gives us a double top, it will surely go down and you don't want to swing trade, a trade that has possibility of selling. So listen and listen carefully. If this candle closes, you just enter and target 1.2390. So we are targeting 1.2390. You see, that's our target. So that's where we are targeting. This is your take profit. Again, this is a caution, guys. Tomorrow we have two uh, event news on USD. One will be happening at around 3.30 and the other one, it, uh, it is at night. The, I think it's NFP or something, form of NFP, I don't know. But there are two events, uh, news that are being announced tomorrow. So what I'm telling you is that if you are trading this pair, trade it. If your account is small and you are over-risking, just know tomorrow there, there is news. If you don't want to trade when there is news, you can wait the news to end. Or you can enter when the news are nearing, you close the trade. But I just want to give you a hands up. We will have, be having news events tomorrow twice. So don't go in crazy. Don't over risk because I've said it's a buy when that candle closes like that. The only thing you need to understand is that if, the, uh, if a chart has given us, we would be afraid to enter this market. But use proper risk management. And as the news come, we want to know. Will they push this market up? So as the news is coming by, I hope they will have activated the our take profit. So if I enter today at midnight, my take profit is at 2390. 
that's my take profit is at 23.90. I will enter that trade and I forget about it. So guys, that's what I'm telling you. That's the update of GBPUSD. I hope tomorrow, Wednesday, all of us will make money. And also note, we have the new so use proper risk management. Thank you so much, guys. Love you. All the best. Make money.